सो हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पीआईबी 24/7 मैं हूं मनीष मिश्रा एंड इन दिस सेशन गाइस आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द पीआईबी न्यूज़ दिस सेशन गाइस इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर वेरियस गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ईएसआई सेक्शन ऑफ आरबीआई ग्रेड बी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन एंड आल्सो You can join this Telegram group for daily quizzes and updated information about the daily sessions. Or its the link is that you will get in the description. So let's begin with the very first question, which is about the Asia uh, Global Corruption Barometer Asia 2020. So you have to consider these statements regarding this report, Global Corru uh, Corruption Barometer Asia 2020, and you have to identify the correct statement. So let us first talk about this report, and remember, this is not the Uh, you know corruption perception index that is a different report which is every year being launched by transparency international this report has also been launched by transparency international but don't confuse between this report and corruption perception index so the name of the report is what global corruption barometer asia 2020 so it is clear that all the countries which are taken in, under this report are from asia all right so this report has been launched by transparency international which is headquartered in berlin which is in germany and it was the 10th edition of this report total countries which were surveyed uh, are 17 and total persons which were uh, interviewed during this report were 20000 so there are there are very less person who were interviewed to you know uh, make this report and talking more about this report so highest bribery rates if we talk about so in asia The highest bribery rates are in our country, that is India, which is 39 percent, followed by Cambodia and Indonesia. Which means India is the most corrupt country if in the Asian nation. And lowest are Maldives and Japan with a bribery rate of how much? Only 2 percent. While India has bribery rate of 39 percent. All right. And this report also provides you know bribery rates in the different services in India. And according to this report, police services is the Our uh, police service is the most corrupt, you know, department, or you can say the most corrupt service in our country. Police has a 42 percent का bribery rate है, while for identity documents like PAN card, Aadhar card, uh, passport, election ID card, you all know driving license. The bribery rate is how much? 41 percent. आप में से भी कई लोगों ने driving license है, वो पैसे देके ही बनाया होगा, I think guarantee. Public schools में 22 percent, public clinic and health. सेंटर्स में भी हमारे देश में गाइस करप्शन है देयर इज अ करप्शन इन द हेल्थ सेंटर्स आल्सो यूटिलिटीज इट इज 32 परसेंट बाय कोर्ट जहां पे बिल्कुल भी करप्शन नहीं होना चाहिए देयर इज अ करप्शन इन आवर जुडिशियल सिस्टम आल्सो एंड हाउ मच 32 परसेंट का बाइनरी रेट है इन आवर जुडिशियल सिस्टम सो दैट्स वेरी यू नो बैड न्यूज़ फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस की पब्लिक हेल्थ और हेल्थ सेंटर जैसे या फिर जुडिशियल सिस्टम जैसे इलाकों में भी हमारे पास एरियाज में भी हमारे पास करप्शन इतना ज्यादा प्रेवेलेंट है ओके okay? So that was about this report. Now let's come back to the question. You have to identify the correct statement. Total 21 countries were surveyed in the report. So it is not 21 countries. There are 17 countries that were surveyed under this report, and total 20,000 persons were interviewed. India has the highest bribery rates across Asia. Yes, this is absolutely correct. And the lowest are Japan and Maldives. Japan and Maldives. Next. In India, police service has the highest bribery rate. Yes, unfortunately, in India, police services is the most corrupt services in our country. So, statement two and three are absolutely correct. Which means option A will be the correct answer. And now let's move on to the question number two, guys, which is about the global terrorism index. Again, the question is somewhat same. You have to uh, consider these statements one, two, and three, and you have to identify the incorrect statement now regarding the index, which is known as global terrorism index. All right. So talking about this report, so guys, this report has been launched by Institute for Economic and Peace. Remember, he, which sort of organization has been launched? Yeah, this has been launched by Institute for Economics and Peace, and the name is what? Global Terrorism Index 2020. Okay, and talking about how much, how how many countries were surveyed? So total 163 countries were surveyed, and out of 163 countries, the most affected countries in terrorism is what? Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the most affected countries by uh, uh, most affected country by terrorism, and the most impacted region. If we talk about so the worst, worstly impacted region is Southern Asia. Then we have Northern America. Then 
मिडल ईस्ट सो दीज आर द टॉप थ्री मोस्ट इंपैक्टेड रीजन नंबर वन पे इट इज साउथ एशिया देन वी हैव नॉर्थन अमेरिका एंड फाइनली एट नंबर थ्री इट इज मिडल ईस्ट ओके एंड द मोस्ट अफेक्टेड कंट्री एज आई टोल्ड यू अफगानिस्तान इट स्कोर इज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव नाइन टू आउट ऑफ टेन सो द स्कोर इज वेर गिवेन आउट ऑफ टेन एंड अफगानिस्तान एज अ स्कोर ऑफ नाइन पॉइंट फाइव नाइन टू वाइल इंडिया स्टुट एट द एट्थ पोजिशन विद अ स्कोर ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव थ्री आउट ऑफ टेन ओके सो डू रिमेंबर द स्कोर ऑफ इंडिया दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू If you are not able to remember the score of Afghanistan, that will be okay. But you have to remember the score of India, okay? And of course, its position. And we're talking about the global impact of terrorism. So yes, according to this report, the global economic impact of terrorism has been reduced. If we talk about 2014 and 2019, so if we compare 2014 and 2019, so the global economic impact has been reduced. But still, it is. 26.4 billion dollars in the year 2019 and guys that is a huge amount 26.4 billion dollar jo hai wo hamara global economic impact hai keval aur keval terrorism ki wajah se okay and terrorist attacks in india if you talk about so india reported 558 terrorist attacks in india 2019 and of course the most impacted region is what jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir sabse zyada impacted region hai Uh, due to terrorism and total there were 277 deaths that have been registered in india due to terrorism in the year 2019 all right so this was uh, some basic facts from this report now let's come back to the question most affected country by terrorism in the world is cambodia so that is not cambodia that's afghanistan okay afghanistan so this statement guys is incorrect india is ranked at 8th position with a score of 8.353 So now you can get confused in this statement. So remember the position here given it is absolutely correct, while the score given is incorrect. India's score is how much? Seven point three five three. It is not eight point three five three, which means this statement is incorrect. And this report has been released by Financial Action Task Force. No, that is not Financial Action Task Force. It's Institute for Economic and Peace, which means this statement is also incorrect. and we have to identify the incorrect statements which means all are incorrect option e all are incorrect will be the correct answer here okay and now guys let's move on to the question number 3 which is about a park that is recently been inaugurated so recently at ai and robotics technology technology park which in short is known as art park has been inaugurated at dash which will promote technology innovations in ai and robotics and give a boost to research and development projects in the field of education health infrastructure agriculture so you have to fill this gap okay so let me tell you the answer first this uh, park art park has been inaugurated at bengaluru this has been inaugurated at bengaluru and then uh, full name is what ai and robotics technology park which in short is known as art park and as the question says it will promote technology innovations in ai and robotics and give a boost to the research and development projects in various fields like agriculture education uh, health infrastructure etc okay and talking more about this park so it, it will be a not for profit foundation and it, it will be established uh, by, uh, by the help of iisc bangalore in association with a with a foundation which is known as ai foundry okay do remember the name of this foundation ai foundry and along with iisc bangalore it will be set up okay and it has received a seed funding of rupees 170 crore which is approximately 22 billion dollars from department of science and technology under a mission which is known as national mission on interdisciplinary cyber physical system okay there is a mission under department of science and technology which is known as national mission on interdisciplinary cyber physical system under this mission This 170 crores, uh, this 170 crore rupees has been allocated to this park, which is known as Art Park. Okay, and there is one more service, Bhasha Sethu service will be set up that will enable the real time Indic language translation, both from speech to speech and speech to text. So, sir, basically, a service launch will be done so that the Indo-European languages will be changed, or the Indian subcontinent's 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 languages From translate किया जा सके from speech to speech and speech to text. Okay, and now guys talking about this mission NMICPS. So this mission, it, this mission has the basic objectives of you know providing or creating technology, uh, technology uh, you know uh, you know the promoting technology development 
startup development entrepreneurship development or you can say startup development and in the field of cyber physical system okay in the field of cyber physical system this mission has the objective to promote HR development, startup development, entrepreneurship development, and technology development, and other developments also. Now, what is this cyber physical system? So, this is guys, it is a field that is uh, related to the you know computer based technologies, deployment of computer based technologies that works on its own. Okay, as a computer based technology, for example, self driven cars. Okay. It was launched in the year 2018 with a total outlay of 3600 crores for a period of 5 years. Alright, so let me repeat the objective of this mission. So this mission, uh, you know, has the objective of promoting technology, entrepreneurship, startup, HR development in the field of cyber physical system. Now what is this cyber physical system? So it is a field, you know, that related that is related uh, to the deployment of computer based technologies that works on its own like for example as i told you self driven cars okay so that was about this question now let's come back to the question so therefore guys the correct answer should be what option b bangalore okay it has been inaugurated at bangalore and remember department of science and technology will complete its 50 years in the next year in the year 2021 and now let's move on to question number four so you have to consider the following statement regarding Goa tribal plan and you have to identify the correct statements. So let's talk about this Goa tribal plan. So TRIFID, which is a, a government organization under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, it held a virtual meeting with Goa administration to implement this Goa tribal plan. Now what is the basic objective of this Goa tribal plan? Let me tell you. So there will be some establishment under this plan and these are these three establishments. Number one, it is 25 Bandhan Vidas Kendras, then we have one tribal food park. Then there will be establishment of two showrooms in North Goa and South Goa for minor forest produce. Okay, that's it. You don't need to learn more about it because the other information that is not relevant for that is not relevant for exam. Just remember, under the Goa tribal plan, 25 Bandhan Vidas Kendras, one uh, tribal food park and two showrooms in North Goa and South Goa will be inaugurated for minor forest produce. All right. So coming back to the question, two showrooms will be opened in North Goa and South Goa. This is absolutely correct. And 25 Bandhan Vidas Kendras will be established. This is also correct, which means uh, we have to identify the correct statement. Option C, both are correct, will be the correct answer. And talking about Goa, so guys, Pramod Savant is the chief minister. And recently, as we all know, there were some GI tags. That was a news from Goa. That, that is Harmal Chili. Then we have... Kola chili, then we have Moira banana, Moira banana, and of course Khaje, which is a prasadam. And you will find Molen National Park, Molen National Park in Goa, which is also known as Bhagwan Mahavi National Park. Bhagwan Mahavi National Park, you will find Potigao Wildlife Sanctuary in Goa. Goa government has recently launched Yashaswini scheme, Yashaswini scheme for promotion of women entrepreneurship. Goa is the first state which has become her first Har Ghar Jal state. Har Ghar Jal state. Har Ghar Jal state. Goa is the first state to achieve this uh, target. Then uh, there are some more information about Goa. So India's first, India's first sand dune park. India's first sand dune park will be will come up in Goa. Okay. So these are some basic information about Goa. I hope you all get it. Now let's move on to question number 5. So guys, question number 5 is very basic. It can be asked in one mark. So name the portal which was launched by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change which is currently headed by Prakash Javadekar which will provide information on the different climate initiatives taken by various ministries. So this portal guys, it is named as India Climate Change Knowledge Portal. Okay, India Climate Change Knowledge Portal and it has been launched by Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and it will provide all the necessary informations which are required to all the stakeholders reg uh, regarding the climate change strategy in our country. Okay. And talking more about this portal, so it will be maintained by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and these eight components will be uh, included in this portal. These are the eight information which are India's climate profile, National Policy Framework, India's NDC Goals, Adaptation Actions, then we have Mitigation Actions, Bilateral and Multilateral Cooperations uh, in the field of Climate Change, 
international international and climatic uh, negotiations then report and publication so everything related to climate will be published on this portal and from this portal any stakeholder can get any information related to the climate change in our country and remember it will be maintained by ministry of environment forest and climate change itself okay so therefore guys the correct answer should be what so we have to name the portal so therefore the correct answer should be what option e india climate change knowledge portal will be the correct answer okay and guys that's it for the session but before ending the session there was a doubt in the yesterday session that was asked by nilesh so he said that india has you know uh, increase its target to 220 gigawatt by the year 2022 of the renewable energy but remember one thing that kisi bhi official document mein iska mention nahi hai yes narendra modi the honorable prime minister unhone ye mention kiya tha ki yes we are on a path to achieve this uh, we are on a path ki hum 220 gigawatt tak ki energy ko bana payenge but he never said that we has a we have a target of achieving 220 gigawatts because in no official document it has been provided इन फ्यूचर अगर कोई ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंट आएगा देन आई टेल यू सो 220 गीगावाट अभी हम करेक्ट आंसर नहीं मानेंगे बिकॉज ऑफिशियली गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कह रही है यस वी हैव अ टारगेट ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग 175 गीगावाट रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी अगर आपके पास कोई ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंट है देन प्लीज प्रोवाइड मी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग मिलते हैं अगले सेशन में आई होप द सेशन इज क्लियर एंड ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आर क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस